Hey everybody, Dr. Charlie Johnson, physical therapist. A really cool educational moment the other day in the clinic and I want to share it with you. So if you're watching this video and you've been diagnosed with spinal stenosis or have a leg pain, numbness, or tingling when you stand or when you walk specifically, this video is for you, okay? I had a patient the other day in the clinic who wanted to know a little bit more about what spinal stenosis was and why she was feeling what she uh, is feeling, okay? Which was severe leg pain when she was standing or walking on both sides for her, okay? So in this video, I'm gonna cover the two main types of spinal stenosis and uh, share with you how I taught her a little bit about what was going on to help her better understand it, okay? So what I want you to do and what I did in the clinic is I took out a blank piece of paper and I just do a tree, okay? Um, so just draw a stick figure tree and I will uh, hopefully convince you that if you understand what's going on um, in the basic anatomy of a tree, then you understand more than you think about the nerves um, in the spine, okay? So a, a tree is a lot like, um, is a lot like the spinal cord and the, the nerves that come off of it, okay? First things first, what is spinal stenosis? It's just a narrowing of the um, canal or canals where the nerves travel, okay? So you have two main canals in the spine, um, and the, the first one is like the main corridor, right? So if you were to look down your spine, you should have a clear path looking from the top all the way to the bottom. Um, that main area is the central canal. That's where the spinal cord travels from the brain all the way down to the back. And then you have little holes on either side of the spine where nerves exit, go down the leg, and allow you to uh, feel pain, numbness, tingling, burning, shooting um, when there's a problem with them, okay? Um, so here's what I did. So I took out a piece of paper and I drew a picture of a tree. So go ahead and do that for me. Here it is, okay? Um, again, understand that the tree is a lot like the spine in a couple ways. First things first, the main trunk, um, going all the way from the base of the tree all the way up to the top, could be a liken to the spinal cord, all right? It's kind of like uh, the, main the main cord, all right? Uh, and then off of that, you have all these little uh, smaller branches, right? They could be a liken to the branches that come off the spinal cord, all right? So first understand this. If, if it's a nice day, you go outside, you want to cut down a tree, um, you borrow a chainsaw or you have one yourself, if you cut the tree at the base or if you cut the tree, at, yeah, if you cut the tree at the base, uh, what's going to happen? The whole tree is going to fall down, right? So everything above the cut is going to be affected. All right, you get that. So now let's just say you have a clean tree, no cuts, and you just want to cut one of the branches off. It's getting in the way. Well, what's going to happen? The whole tree is fine, but just that branch is going to be affected. All right, got it? Pretty clear? Cool. So now what I did is I said to her, I said, all right, now we're just going to flip the paper over. So at home, if you drew this, just flip the paper over and you'll get something like this. So you'll have your grass there, right? You'll have your tree, like the main root, right? Not the best, but you get it, okay? Um, this is what the tree would look like upside down. Now it looks very similar to what your spine and your spinal cord looks like, okay? The nerves in your spine. So up here would be where the grass or the roots would be, would be your brain. And then out of that, you have this main spinal cord that goes all the way from the neck all the way down to the bottom. Um, and off the side in the spine, you actually have 31 pairs of nerves or branches that exit the spine and go down uh, the legs in this case, okay? So using that same analogy, if you have, um, compression or a problem at the base of the uh, of the tree, or in this case, if you have spinal stenosis, central spinal stenosis, that's affecting the spinal cord, okay, um, or the trunk of the tree again, then you're going to have problems in both legs, right, because it affects everything below. It. So the nerves that go down this leg are going to be affected, and the nerves that go down this leg are affected because um, it's affected sort of at the central station, right? Now, if you don't have a problem there, no central stenosis, but you have the second type of spinal stenosis, which is foraminal stenosis. Remember, the foramen are just the little nerves, or the little holes where the nerves exit on either side. Let's just say this one is affected. You have foraminal spinal stenosis on just one side, and it's affecting just one branch. You're only going to have pain, uh, numbness, or tingling in one leg, okay? So the two main types of spinal stenosis are central canal spinal stenosis, um, it's affected sort of at the base of the tree or the spinal cord. You will have symptoms down both legs, okay, because everything below will be affected. If you just have uh, foraminal spinal stenosis on one side, then only one leg uh, is going to have a problem, okay, and the other leg will be perfectly fine. 
All right, so um, hopefully that helps. Those are the two main types, central foraminal spinal stenosis. Remember, stenosis is just a narrowing of where the nerves um, exit the spine, okay? Hopefully this was helpful. You can do the same thing at home to help you better understand it or uh, comment or post your questions below or reach out to me directly at charliejohnsondpt at gmail.com and share your story.